Sometimes the association may employ a water watchman to conduct water delivery works. This person may receive a salary for this duty, which would be collected from the beneficiary farmers. There may be different dissensions and conflicts among the farmers. These usually relate to water distribution activities. Water stealing is the most common cause of such conflicts. Another cause of conflict is the insufficient water during plantations. Conflicts may be limited to name-calling or may even result in physical violence. The Water Users Association plays an important role in solving these conflicts. It is according to the rules of the association that these types of conflicts are solved. Depending upon the rules, the guilty may receive a warning, a fine or punishment. A strong Water Users Association sees to it that its rules are complied with. Another important function of the Water Users Association is to mobilise resources for system maintenance. System maintenance is the repairing and cleaning of the canal for regular and efficient water acquisition and distribution. Labour and fees are required for system maintenance and other related activities. The committee lays down the rules regarding household contribution and the fees that are to be contributed by the general members. Maintenance activities usually correspond to the plantation seasons. Maintenance works include works such as removing silt, grass and gravel from the irrigation canal. Information dissemination is another important function of the Executive Committee. The process by which it conveys its rules and information to the general members and tackles the problems of its members are important to the credibility of the committee. The executive members also see to it that their information gets to every member including women. This results in the smooth functioning of the association and even of the irrigation management. Besides these primary functions, the Water Users Association at some places also carries out secondary functions that help members. If the association has built up necessary capacity and resources, then it can diversify its activities, which can be termed as secondary functions. The secondary activities are strengthened if it can receive support from governmental or non-governmental agencies. The role of the Water Users Association can be for supplying inputs, providing credits, farm equipments, marketing of agricultural products, facilitating fishing and grazing and drinking water. Some such examples are the Water Users Association being involved in Milk Cooperative in Gujarat in India and the Agricultural Cooperative in Vietnam. While farmers have traditionally grown cereals, like paddy or wheat, some Water Users Associations in India have shifted to cash crops. Some have even realised the importance of floriculture since floriculture yields a higher return and so have begun growing and marketing flowers. Different social and economic factors can lead to better functioning of the water users associations. These relate to both technological and socio-economic factors. Some of the socio-economic factors are local social organisation, market access, market incentives and financial viability. A supportive policy and legal environment is crucial for the sustainability of the water users associations. An efficient association will result in more effective and reliable irrigation management. The reliable and effective irrigation management will augment farm productivity and farm income and lead towards the empowerment of the farmers. An active water users association in turn results in an active irrigation system. What we are seeing here is what has been become possible because of the irrigation system, the lift irrigation. Now there are multiple benefits of the lift irrigation system. Once you 
uh, once you start taking crops regularly, you're taking three crops, your economic level goes up, your economic status goes up. And the moment your economic status goes up, that means your children are getting better education, you're getting better health facilities, you're economically also rising in your social status, better housing, better clothing, more facilities, and you're also moving out to look for other opportunities. And in this village itself, earlier, like the, like, at least the tribal children, none of them used to go to school. Today, 100% of the tribal children are going to school. With more income at their disposal, farmers have been able to send their children to school. They have been able to offer to their children a brighter future.